Upload any files to our decentralized storage by clicking Upload a file and select what you want to upload. Let's say you want to share your file download link. Click on the file and click this icon to copy the download link. To mint your file as NFT on the blockchain, click on Mint and in a few seconds, you have the NFT. Using the search bar, type the file name you are looking for. If you need the retrieval link from the Filecoin network, click on your file and click this icon on the last row. You can view your minted NFTs on OpenSea by clicking the blue button View on the right. On the left menu, click on Billing History to view all of your paid transactions. Find the deal log of your files by clicking to view the files details and clicking on View Deal Log. Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to use the MCS SDK. The SDK will allow developers to integrate the MCS with their project or just use MCS in general without the need for the UI. So to get started, we are on the documentation page, docs.fileswan.com. If we go under multi-chain storage, developer quick start, SDK, JavaScript, MCS SDK, getting started. So to use this SDK, you will need to need you will need to have Node.js installed, as well as have a MetaMask wallet, as well as some USDC and Matic funds. So installation is very simple. We just open up a new terminal, npm init-y. We'll just make a simple node project. npm install js mcs sdk. So now if we take a look, we have some files made for us. We will need to make a .env file to store our private key and our PC URL. So an RPC URL is given by default. Feel free to replace it with one of your own, but we don't need that here. To access your private key, you go into your MetaMask. Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how details export private key. So there's a warning, you never want to show this with anyone because anyone that has your private key will have full access to your wallet. But this is a demo, demo account, so it should be okay. Save this. Now we can begin writing a script. So let's make a new .js file. And it, we, so the first step is to uh, require the necessary packages. So we require .env. This will give us access to the variables we just set up. And of course, we need to set up the MCS SDK. So next, we need to initialize the SDK. So the SDK has an initialize function where you pass in your private key and the RPC URL. Now to check that this actually works, let's try to print out mcs.version. It should be version 2.5 as at the time of this video. So to run this node demo.js. Yes, and it prints out 2.5. Hi everyone, today I'm going to show you how to... So now let's follow the documentation to upload a file. Let's copy this code. I guess we can replace this whole thing. So it creates a sample file, a sample JSON file, which has 
our private our public key. It then creates a file array object for the for the SDK and uploads it. And it will print out the response. So we run this again. Oops, forgot to save the file. Okay, let's run this. And here is that response from the upload API. Status was success. This is a unique source file upload ID. The payload CID, which is based on the contents of the file. The IPFS URL, the size of the file, a unique CID. And this file was free, so it does not need to be paid for. So if we take a look at the IPFS URL, we open up it opens up the contents of the file which is what i described earlier so now if we head on to the ui multichain.storage if i refresh you see that the file is now shown up and the payment is not necessary is free so moving on with the documentation there's more information about uploading files here with certain options. Next is make payments. So if we copy this code, replace it, uh, we can attempt to pay for the file. So we need to pass in, we need to pass in the source file upload ID, and the minimum amount, But it says um, we can set it to empty or zero, and it will calculate, it will automatically calculate uh, the amount for us, similar to how the UI would do it. So we can just leave that blank. File size 56. So let's try to pay this. Of course, as expected, it will throw an error. This file is already paid for. So we do not need to pay for this file. Next, we can mint it assets. So we can mint our file as an NFT. Again, we need the source file upload ID. We need the IPFS URL. Now we need a name. My address NFT. It will create an NFT object and call the mint asset function with the ID and the object. So let's run this. So now we see that the mint transaction is successful. We have the transaction hash of the mint as well as the contract address for the NFT contract. This is the mint token ID, so it was the 70th NFT minted on MCS mainnet. So now if we go back here, oops, got logged out. We just signed this login transaction. So if we take a look at our file again, we see that the mint status is now view. And we can view our file on OpenSea. Nice. The next thing we can do is list file, list all of our uploaded files. There's a lot of filters and parameters you can pass in. These are all optional. So we can sort filter by minted files the payment status, sort by ascending or descending, how we want to order it, or search by file name. So without any of these, it would just give us all files. So here we have our single uploaded file.
So this is just an introduction to, to get started with the SDK. There's a lot more information on the documentation page here. And if you have any ongoing issues, feel free to open up an issue at the JSMCS SDK GitHub. Thanks for watching.